morning everyone. It's another day. We have eight miles to run today. Yeah, I have to clean up the house before my parents come back. And I'll be heading off to Emma's later. I'm probably gonna have to go a bit easy on the run today. My legs are really stiff from training yesterday. The training was fantastic, it was great. Even though there was only like a small number of us there, it was still a great, great session to have. But uh, yeah, I am, my legs are so stiff. Kind of had it in my head, I just said like, you know, not that you need to get stuck in more, but you need to start fucking playing the game more. Like, you know what I mean? I'm, I'd i say since I started, since I joined back, I've been playing it extremely safe. Like, you know, just playing the safe passes, not kicking the ball or anything like that. So I said to myself, you know, try and get more stuck in, try and, you know, play the game more. Stop being scared, basically, because I was scared. I was really scared to kick the ball around because I don't want to make a mistake, basically, which is childish. Like, you know, it's junior A, like, mistakes happen literally every fucking second. Like, get over it, that kind of, get over yourself, really, is what I'm saying. Legs are really stiff now because uh, it's just taking a tackles and all that, you know. We have a game on Saturday, a football game, and it's probably going to be our biggest test yet, so that'll be interesting. Also, we have to drive out to the middle of fucking nowhere to go play it. To be fair, I can't really complain. We've gotten so lucky with home games, and our away games have usually only been, like, 10 minutes down the road, so, like, this was due. Probably about two months ago, we played a game that was, like, an hour and 10 minutes away, and we lost. Hopefully, that won't happen again. <laughs> it's time to get this run over with. I seem to, I procrastinate a lot just before the runs. I don't know why. Like, running isn't that bad, especially, like, when you're by yourself. I'm just gonna, like, run at a slow pace. It's just gonna take a lot of time, really. I think out of the whole, out of all the days, Wednesdays are my hardest run because I just had a really hard session last night, basically. Which is weird, though, because you think, like, a hard session would be the 10-mile run on a uh, Sunday, you know, a day after a really hard match, you know, that you, you think that would be my hardest one. I, I, I usually struggle the most with eight miles. Being stiff, I'm gonna, I think I might uh, hop into the sauna after this, after the run, and stretch a lot more because just, my legs are so stiff from yesterday for some reason. We've got a lot of injuries recently. We're losing a lot of people, so I'm just trying to stay as fit as I possibly can. Stretch, keep stretching, trying to avoid injury and all that. Sometimes, like, you know, I've realized that now, like, you just can't avoid it, can you? Like, in running you can avoid injury, no problem, because like you're not, there's it's no impact it's all on you really, but like obviously in GA, you could just get extremely unlucky and just trip and hurt your leg. Like there was literally in our last game, I think four or five lads fell really awkwardly. I think the pitch was fucking shit and I don't know why they let us play on that, but a load of, I think four of them fell awkwardly or it was a case of three or four lads fell on top of each other and hurt each other's legs, that kind of way. I'm trying to control basically what I can control. Like I know if I stretch and all that, that'll stop me from just getting injured from like running. Obviously, then when you're playing a match and there's like big hits going in, sure, what, what more can you, what else can you do? Let's get the shit over with. Mile one, 804. Mile two, 754. Mile three, 758. Mile four, 803. Halfway there. Mile five, eight minutes. I have such a bad stitch right now. Mile six, 748. Mile seven, 748. One to go. Eight and final mile. 7.49. Average pace was 7.56. Total time was an hour and three minutes. The run got done. It actually wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. That was probably one of the best eight mile runs I've done in a while. Not in terms of time wise, but in terms of like feeling good wise. I felt really good there throughout the whole thing. I actually turned the sauna on there now, so we're gonna have a nice lovely sauna. I don't know, I even know what it does, but it's so good. I literally, I just try and I have a JBL speaker. I just can't bring your phone inside the sauna, but the JBL is actually like, I think it's fit for these those kind of conditions, cause like, Look at it, like it's fit for like water and shit like that, so I'm guessing it's alright. Fucking hope so, because I brought it in with me a load of times. What I did do before and never fucking do it is I brought my AirPod in with me into my ear. Actually, then I did it for about six months, then afterwards, the AirPod like broke, the whole thing broke, so I'm guessing it was from too much heat. But you know, like saying that though, I think it was it last summer, like I think it was California, had the exact, basically the exact same heat I'd have in a sauna, like you know what I mean? You're just like, sure, how the fuck are they able to walk around with their phones? Like, how is their phones not melting in their hands and all that? Like, I brought my GoPro in there one time, but I have a case for the GoPro, like a waterproof case, so like that surely makes it alright. Like I couldn't bring the camera in there now, I'd be too scared, like the whole SD card would fucking like disintegrate or something. I don't know, I'm probably just overthinking it to be honest. But yeah, we're gonna hit up the sauna now. I need to eat something good today. Like, I ate good yesterday, right? I did, I ate healthy. They taste so bad, I, I can't get over how bad that pasta was, it was disgraceful. Just throwing together a banana sandwich before we head into the sauna. Just got the stretching done. My kind of routine is, and I'd recommend it for anyone, is 15 minutes stretching after every anything you do really. I just do my legs, I don't really stretch anything else. 15 minutes is then I hold each leg muscle for one minute. Really doesn't take that long. It is boring, no, it's tedious, it's important. And then afterwards I always have some bit of recovery food. Like straight away I have either like tuna or banana sandwich or chicken. Banana sandwich doesn't like taste too bad to be fair. And it's really good for you, that's the main thing. Andy out, this man is a hardened dog, right? And he always alerts us when our, our other dogs get out. 
and uh, he was standing here like that. Just got out, but I don't know how you got out. I know, look at you, you're fucking bad, aren't you? There's food over here then. I thought it was her that got out. If she gets out, it's really hard to get her back. I know this one won't go too far though, to be honest. One of my dogs got out there. Oh, the hair. I had to take time to fucking figure out where she got out. We kind of have this place. This is like a fortress for the dogs, to be fair. Like, there's like very, very rare that they get out, to be honest. I have three dogs, right? Youngest one is Glenn. Second youngest is Tilly, and then the third. The oldest is Sammy. Glenn has never and probably won't ever run away. He just doesn't. I don't think that's him. Tilly has done it a few times. Tilly is the most dangerous. She gets out, she'll go fucking far. Sammy was the one now who got out. She wasn't. She won't go far, and she's like, old so oh, look at this like ah that was in my fucking head I just plugged the hole with a bucket basically that's the best I could do and hope she fucking leaves it alone. The sauna was unbelievable really good. 10 minute intervals at it three times just making it hotter as I go. We have a thermometer in there right and for me anyway 80 is unbearable when it hits 80 I know I, I should be turning turning it off or turning it down. I like to keep it in between 60 and 70 but Jesus 80 it just cuts through you. I tried to stay in there the whole last interval was, was an 80. I am really tired right now actually so I'm probably gonna take a nap but first I'm gonna have a night's lunch so I'm gonna go up to the shop and buy myself some eggs i still actually have from that ad i still have velo coffee from the the ad i did with them and i might actually use that it's pretty nice coffee i won't lie but uh yes yes we're looking very good now looking very good shop was kind enough to give me a free flake as well went up it went up to get the eggs and she goes want a flake i was like no i don't want a flake get away from me like i don't want to pay or whatever for a flake she goes oh they're free i was like yeah okay no worry <laughs> look at this a lovely, I think it's a strawberry sponge cake, something like that, really nice cake. Yeah, always make sure to treat yourself, lads. Don't be so hard on yourselves. Like me, I was about to eat this cake, and I was like, oh my god, no, I can't eat this cake, can't eat this cake, I'm trying to eat healthy and all that. I'm like, oh my god, like, stop that bollocks, baby, lad. Like, obviously, there's a limit when you're trying to, like, eat healthy, but, like, I think what I used to do when I was younger was if I tried to eat healthy or some shit like that, I'd take it to a stupid degree, where I'd, like, only eat stupid stuff, like, really. I wouldn't go near chocolate, no salt, no sugar, no nothing, you know? all that crap it only last probably i think the longest i've ever done it was like two weeks see what would happen was i'd be like fuck that and then i eat everything in the house everything oh jeez it was so bad i always make sure to like at least treat myself once a day try it like don't like let it all build up and then it'll all fucking come out it'll be a waste of time then i remember actually it was so funny one of these outbursts that happened when i was younger i was 12 i had like a big cross country race the next day i ended up eating like a whole packet of like you know wraps literally wraps white bread wraps i just ate like a full packet like seven or eight of them all in a row but i went on and i came third in that race but i just can't believe like something like that could happen where you eat like a whole packet of wraps nothing in them just plain wraps you just fold it up into a triangle and lean it it's just like i think i'm gonna start uploading all my shit onto instagram reels uh, to be fair now right this is just it's so weird but it's instagram reels is the funniest i've never i never seen such funny shit anywhere else except on instagram reels mostly what i end up on i don't know if anyone is, is like this or it's just fucking weird for me usually i end up on like some like mostly people in like india it's like falling off bikes and all that what was the other one like people like there was this one meme i just i laughed i'd say for like three days straight where like they they were all friends and they tricked their friend into sitting in onto a chair that had um, a loaded fucking um, airbag or some shit like that and all they had to do was press a button and the airbag flew your man up into the air and i was in hysterics <laughs> Like, you know, that kind of shit. Like, I, I, I'm on that all the time and I'm pissing myself. Hopefully, I'll start putting on my Instagram reels. Hopefully, that'll get me a few more things. I don't know. Woke up from a nap. A nice 50 minute nap. This is the best I've probably ever woken up feeling from a nap. Usually, I wake up and I feel like I've been hit by a car, to be honest. But I don't feel too bad now, actually. 50 minutes and I feel great. You know, I, I had a timer set to an hour and a half. Show you now what I use, right? I use low, low fee or low five beats and it puts me to sleep in like five minutes. It's absolutely incredible. And then, as soon as I open the door, he'll be cured. Can't get much better than this. Cooked by yours truly, like. That's not true. How was I like? I cooked it. Uh, well, I cooked the meatballs. And they taste delicious, the don't they? I cooked the sauce and the pasta, which was all done. That's me. Go back. I need to hear myself. <laughs> He's gonna cry. I knew he was crying. Well, everyone, that's the end of the day. Really hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day.